Are you ready to replace your outdated acrylic dome or single slope skylights? Today, we're gonna show you how easy it is to go from this to this. We'll take you step-by-step step through the installation of these beautiful and energy-efficient Guardian 275 single slope translucent skylights from Major Industries. It's a lightweight, pre-assembled skylight with a unique sandwich panel design for insulation options and great thermal performance. It has built-in light control with translucent face sheets that diffuse the sun's harsh rays and provide glare-free light. You can install the Guardian 275 skylight over a newly constructed roof curb or as a replacement on an existing curb. Simply verify the existing curb dimensions to make sure you're ordering the proper size skylight for your curb. Let's get started. First, we'll gather the materials you'll need for the job. A tape measure a cordless drill, a utility knife, a number 14 hex screwdriver bit, and some number 14 by one and a half inch sheet metal or self-drilling screws for mounting, a tube of silicone caulking and an applicator, and some sill seal weather strip. We recommend a medium density with the adhesive backing applied to one side. The thickness should be between a quarter to a half inch and the width should be one to one and a half inches. You'll need enough to cover the total perimeter of your skylight. When replacing an existing skylight, you first need to remove the screws from around the perimeter, and then carefully lift the old unit off of the existing curb and dispose of it properly according to your local requirements. Remove any caulking or sill seal from the top of the curb and surrounding substrate. Inspect the curb for damage or areas that could allow water or air to enter in and repair if needed. Now we're ready to install your new translucent skylight. First, make sure the top of the curb is flat and clean. Start by applying foam tape to the top of the curb, placing the adhesive side down. Keep seal to the outer edge of the curb. Make sure that the foam tape joints are butted tight. After removing the paper backing from the tape, it's recommended that you lay a small bead of caulk at each intersection to prevent air and water from getting in. Once the curb is prepared, inspect the skylight packaging for any damage that may have occurred during storage. If no damage is visible, remove the skylight from the packaging material and locate the label along the side of the skylight indicating the sill. Determine what direction the curb is sloping. If it's a slight pitch, you may need to use a level. Place the skylight over the curb and onto the curb seal. Make sure the sill side of the skylight is on the downslope side of the curb. Adjust the skylight so that the inside of its drip edge is evenly spaced around the top of the curb. You can do this by quickly checking the spacing between the face of the curb and the inside edge of the drip edge with a tape measure. Next, you're going to fasten the skylight to the roof curb. Typically, a number 14 by 1.5 inch sheet metal or self-drilling screw can be used. Keep in mind that the substrate of the curb will dictate the type and size of screw that should be used, as screws need to be embedded into the structural substrate by at least 1 inch. We will begin fastening the skylight to the curb at one of the corners of the sill. While using a slight amount of downward pressure with one hand to compress the skylight framing into the sill seal, Insert a number 14 hex head screw through the pre-drilled hole in the skylight's drip lead and gently tighten. Do not over-tighten or the skylight could become off-center, the drip edge may deform, or the skylight won't seal properly. Insert the next screw into the adjacent sill corner and repeat the process, making sure to apply gentle downward pressure. Next, find the closest pre-drilled hole to the center of the skylight along the sill side and insert a screw into the curb. Then, secure the opposite corners at the head of the skylight, again applying gentle downward pressure to each corner as you insert the screws. Now, insert screws at the midpoint of each upslope side of the skylight, again using downward pressure as you insert the screws. Once you've secured the corners in the middle of the skylight, go around the perimeter and insert screws through any remaining pre-drilled holes. Once secure, apply a bead of caulk to each corner of the skylight, roughly one half inch in each direction. Then, apply a bead of caulk along the entire sill. 
then that's all there is to installing a Guardian 275 translucent skylight. You'll enjoy its beauty, strength, and energy efficiency for years to come. For further information about major industries and their full range of daylighting solutions, go to www.majorskylights.com.